Yes, I know. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. What do you think? So today, big day, right? It's the solar eclipse. It's the day we've been preparing for for many months. Um, but what we're going to do in particular with the ostrich is we have a study that's going to be happening, um, actually with several animals throughout the zoo. Um, we chose the ostrich just be, being a bird species, a little bit different um, than your bears and you know your other mammals. But what we're doing is we're actually going to be observing them just to see what their behaviors are during that time period. Um, leading up to today, we have been taking observations um, every day, if possible, um, several times a day, just to kind of document what they're doing, where they're hanging out, how many people are around, what's the temperature, you know, all of those different conditions. Um, and then today, we're going to see if it actually changes, right? So you hear a lot of reports that animal behavior, it can change. Um, you know, with it going dark for several minutes, will these birds oh, will go into their nesting and night phase, or will it not bother them at all? So we're hoping to answer some of those questions um, as we go throughout the day. This, this is actually pretty big for us because um, to our knowledge there's not a lot of research and a lot known out there. Um, so for us to be able to build a study and build a program up till now and then through this eclipse I think it's so valuable because it could help other zoos right so you know it can help make decisions do you give them access to the back how do you prepare are there certain animals that you know you need to kind of block off from guests and things of that nature so everything we do here at the zoo is for the well-being of our animals and with well-being you can only improve right so the knowledge that we gain here um, can only help animals at other zoos and other institutions. Zoo Fort Worth Zoo would be in the totality, Little Rock Zoo, Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, right. so a number of them. We're, we're the biggest and best zoo in the totality. <laughs> so today we're very excited. Uh, this is going to be a, a, an incredible solar eclipse event here in central Ohio. We here in Powell, we are in the path of the total eclipse, so we're really excited. We're excited for all of our guests to enjoy it. Um, and we're really interested to see how our animals are going to react. So we've been doing observations on the animals over the last couple of weeks. We'll continue to do that over the next couple of weeks, and then we'll take acute observations today. So we actually develop things called ethograms, where we check the, and we record what animals are doing for certain periods of time throughout the day. We can then compare that with what we would say is a normal behavior a week ago or a week from now to really understand what kind of impact that the eclipse had on the animal's behavior. So we're going to be looking at a lot of animals. We'll certainly look at the polar bears and the brown bears. We'll be looking at red panda, uh, okapi. They're kind of an interesting animal. They like nocturnal more than diurnal, so it'll be interesting to see what they do. Um, some of the birds we're going to be observing. So there's about 20 or 30 species that we're really focused on, but we're actually going to be taking probably observations on lots of other species. I'm interested to see what the polar bears and the brown bears do. Uh, the red pandas, I suspect, are just going to take a nap, so I may skip that. But um, I'll be probably be walking around the zoo from about 2 o'clock till well under 4, just going to different areas and see what's happening. Think about it. I mean, this is not going to come our way for another 100 years. So there may be no other time in our lifetime where we can collect data to see what animals at the zoo and then translate that to animals in the wild, how they react during total solar eclipse. So it, this is truly a once in a lifetime event. It was, it was remarkable. It was amazing. It was superlative. I mean, and the pandas were grooming in the tree and then they went to sleep. They stayed asleep the whole time, the whole totality. But what we also noticed, and this was really weird, is I got over there, there's carpenter bees, um, and they're starting to get bad. I had them on me, they were on my sweatshirt, they were in my hair, they were on my neck. After the totality, they completely went away. So I was up at Heart of Africa and I was watching the ostrich. At around 3.11, 3.12, right, it's starting to get a little bit darker and it was very cute because the girls, they literally stopped what they were doing and they got together and they headed to the back as though they're going to bed. Um, and then obviously when it got real dark, um, they all kind of group consolidated. Um, about seven minutes afterwards, um, it started to lighten back up a little bit and they all stood up and they started grooming as though they were preparing for the day. And then they've gone on about their business. So it was very, very cute. We 
I'm actually didn't really see a whole lot happening with the manatees. They kind of got together. There's three of them down there. They kind of came together um, throughout totality. And then after that, they went back to just resting, but that's pretty on par for them. Well, I didn't see much from the tufted deer. They pretty much thought it was nighttime and they slept through most of it. Okay. We had a really large crowd over in Asia Quest. So when people started cheering, they got up and then two minutes later, we laid right back down and went back to sleep. It was around 2.50 when it started to get dark out, the cranes went completely silent, which is unusual for them because they were vocalizing all day long. Once it went totally dark, they started doing what we call coordinated running, where they run around in circles next to each other and they ran across their habitat once or twice. And then after that, they calmed down and stared at the sky for a few minutes and then went right back to grooming themselves once the sun went away. So I was the fortunate one to stand to be around the elephants today. Uh, the elephants did have a reaction. Uh, we have three elephants specifically. Uh, Sonny, the youngest of them all, uh, actually got a little excited during the complete darkness. Uh, she started thumping her trunk, chirping like an elephant. Uh, she got real close to her sister. They huddled around Sabu, the male, uh, and it was pretty fun to watch. All right, so I was watching the lions and they Rory, the big lion, male lion, got up and sort of looked around a little bit. I think it, I think actually the totality sort of disturbed his little cat nap that he was taking. I heard the elephants had a, a pretty interesting reaction, so I'm glad we documented that. It'll be really great to now analyze all that data, look at how they were acting before, look at what happened today, and then look what, what will happen subsequent to today to really see if we can see any trends and patterns. And then we can also talk to our colleagues, for example, in Texas and Arkansas that were also in the path to see what kind of reaction they saw. So it's gonna be a really interesting research project.